in this exercise, I am trying to curl that towel and try to bring it to me as best I can. Now I'm gonna be using my toes and trying to slide that towel and feel all the muscles under my arch and under my toes working. There's gonna to become a point when I've curled so much of the towel that it's not gonna move anymore. Like right now, because as I go back, it's not moving. Oh, I'm actually still making progress. So this is a pretty good towel girl. Know that if you're not getting the towel to move, but your feet are actually doing the right thing, it's totally okay. Sometimes the towel just doesn't move depending on what surface you're on or like this, or what towel you're moving, but it's still a good motion. Again, it's more fun if you're able to kind of push into the ground and curl that towel, but it's totally okay if you're not able to. Notice that it's just my foot and mainly my toes working. It's not my ankle, my knees aren't moving, I'm not moving my whole foot to curl. I'm just going to be curling through my foot. So in this exercise, I'm trying to get as much of a stretch through my big toe as I possibly can. Right now I have no weight on it. It's up to you how much weight you want to put through your toe. So I still don't have weight on it even though I'm pushing down. All my weight's actually on my other leg and I'm just going to try to bend that big toe and try to bend it as much as I'm able to tolerate and get as much of a stretch through it as I can. To progress this exercise after bending it, I'm going to lean back and now put way more of my weight on the big toe. If you have an irritable big toe, you're working through some range of motion, that may be really sensitive. So it's really up to you how much weight you want to put through your back leg. In this exercise, you can control not only how much weight to put on, but how much bending to put on. Again, you're just going to hold for the prescribed amount of times or sets and reps, and just try to get a stretch throughout this big toe. You're going to feel a stretch through that joint. You may even feel a stretch through here as well. So these are calf raises with the toes elevated. In particular, I really want to make sure my big toe is elevated as much as I can. I'm using a towel roll right here to, to um, squish it up and try to elevate and get my big toe up. You can use something even higher if you have the range of motion. So clearly I have more, so I could have elevated it more if I wanted to. But again, the goal of this is just to try to stretch the plantar fascia, which is the fascia or connective tissue that runs underneath your foot through a calf underneath through down here. So again, I'm gonna go up, making sure I'm pushing through my big toe. I'm feeling my calf muscles working and slowly lowering it. You're going to feel a pretty intense stretch through your big toe and under your foot, and that is completely normal as you do this exercise.